we're on our way to the Cayman Islands. I'm so excited. It is absolutely gorgeous today. It's like 85 degrees, which is, I don't know how much it's Celsius. Yeah, it's really nice. Like, it's a nice breeze. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Absolutely gorgeous day. Perfect. It's like 85 degrees, sunny, beautiful. Oh. It's so amazing. I really, really love it. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna go see what adventures we can find in the Cayman Islands. Okay. Welcome, you guys, Cayman Islands. It's really beautiful here. I'm so excited. Okay. Alright, let's go. We're in the middle of downtown Georgetown, Cayman Islands. It's very quaint, it's very lovely, super, super clean, and really, really sweet. And so I just wanted to show you guys a little bit around. This is, this is the town square right here. <laughs> like I said, it's really little, <laughs> but it's really sweet. I have to show you guys. Come on over here, I have to show you this. Because we've been on the boat for five days with no internet. And this little cafe right here, I will be eternally grateful for Cafe Del Sol. Number one, they gave us internet. And number two, equally important, they gave me the most delicious smoothie that I've had in five days. It was amazing. So, if you come to Cayman Islands, come say hi to Cafe Del Sol. They're amazing. That's fun too. <laughs> so come on, let's keep going. They even have Victoria's Secrets here. Oh my god, it sounds crazy even me saying it. It's so elegant and beautiful here. It's a completely different vibe from Jamaica. Both are gorgeous, but completely different style. The water here is kind of you know, cool and refreshing. The water in Jamaica was warm and it was more balmy, but they're both absolutely gorgeous. So we're at Seven Mile Beach right now. Look at how beautiful. I still can't come look. I can't get over the color of the ocean. It's so, the blue is like turquoise. Come look, come look. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. <laughs> it's definitely not shallow, and it's definitely not warm. I'm going to show you guys the main street. Uh-oh, it's raining. That's the sun was out just a minute ago, and like now it's raining. Welcome to the Caribbean. So I'm going to take you guys to uh, just to the main strip. They really have lovely shops here. They have very beautiful things. You have to be careful because they drive on the other side of the street. It's crazy. <laughs> so, but it's really, really nice. Okay, come on, let's go. This is an incredibly beautiful and elegant island, and my beloved the shopping is exquisite there's so many beautiful stores and if you're a shopper you will have a lot of fun here <laughs> but if you're on a budget I don't know <laughs> maybe not so good you guys have to see the police it's just a scandal all right here All right, you guys, check him out, check him out. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him go. You better go, boo boo. <laughs> I really love this. All right, all right, take it. All right. Even the policemen have rhythm here. I love it. Do you see his little thing? All right, so um, we're going to take a little walk along the beach, and I'm going to take you guys with me. The sand is like this gorgeous color. It is like bellissima. Oh my god. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. A few moments later. No! Seriously? Okay. Hello, my beloved. Oh. 
In the sand, it's Cayman Islands. Ah! It took all of our love and washed it into the Caribbean. <laughs> and for all of my health conscious and healthy lifestyle eaters, rest assured, there's lots of healthy food you can get here. <laughs> I wonder if they have raw vegan ice cream in my dreams. I wish so. I'm dying for my raw vegan dessert. I really have struggled to get healthy food on the cruise ship. I had to make some friends with a couple people and they worked it out for me. I got my smoothies, which I was really excited about, and my raw vegan juices, but not without giving a little blood. <laughs> I'll tell you, it wasn't easy. So if you go on a cruise, bring your own protein powder, uh, bring your own snacks, because they may not have what you need. But I'm going to do a whole video on what I eat out of cruise to give you guys tips, if you ever do that. Okay, come on, let's keep going with the tour. This looks really cute over here. Oh my god, you guys, look. There are chickens and roosters everywhere. Hey guys, oh look at the baby chick, look at the baby chick over here. Oh. Mama's digging for the food for the baby. I'm glad to see they're roaming free and not being eaten. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Just watching this video again as I'm making it is making me want to go back to the tropics. And this time, my beloved, I want to bring all of you with me. Let's do a retreat. Yay! So my beloved, I want to share something with you. How I manifested this gorgeous trip to be in the Caribbean for nearly two weeks is astounding. I mean, really, it, it, still, it still blows my mind. And I just want you, I know you guys know I say this all the time, be open to miracles, be open. We were supposed to go, my wonderful friend, and videographer, and also uh, he helps me produce the videos here on YouTube. His name is Assis. We were supposed to go to Mexico. We had a whole thing planned. Two months. We were going to film for two months in Cancun, Pedro Carmen, Peru. And I was so excited. I was going to learn Spanish. And I was going to do I had all these things. Yoda surf, yoga certification. And all these things planned. And the trip, it just it didn't pan out. And so here's the thing. <laughs> like it's a stabilizer. <laughs> so here's the thing. Just be open. When something doesn't work out, it's always in your highest and best foot. Be open. This is really, really strong. Be open to something even more amazing. Now, we're going to Mexico, but we're also Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Belize, Honduras. And Mexico, it's even more than I had asked for. So always be open. So, pardonnez-moi, I need to enjoy this gorgeous water. There was incredibly delicious tropical fruit on the cruise ship. However, there was no tropical coconuts. So, when I discovered a coconut on our island visits, I made sure to indulge. Each time, the coconuts were Muy, muy delicioso. If you guys haven't read my book, I speak about coconuts as being the food of the gods because they provide so much nourishment. The coconut meat is very nourishing, full of nutrients, and the water is literally the best electrolyte replenishment on the planet. Make sure you guys get your coconut. Now, I'm going to get mine. Thank you. It's so good. I'm really happy camper. So, I have always wanted to come to the Cayman Islands. You see it in the movies and you hear about it everywhere. And it really is stunning. It's so, the color of the water is gorgeous. It's such a beautiful and elegant island. It's really, really lovely. And I'm so happy. There's, you know, I'm so happy to be here. My heart is just full with gratitude. And there's so many cool things to do. You can jet ski, you can um, snorkel, you can scuba dive. It's just, um, it's, it's amazing. So I just wanted to share all this video with you guys. Walking along the ocean with my feet in the 
sand and the water dancing between my toes. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude and my heart is so full of joy. My wish for all of you, my beloved, is that you experience your dream destination. And I am so committed to sharing all my manifestation techniques to help you get there. My friend from the boat just came up to me to say hi. She's outside of dancing. And it got me thinking, you know, dance is really the international language of love. No matter where you are from, it's dance and music connect us and bind us in a way. It connects us in a way that is so sweet and so beautiful. So that no matter where you're from, all around the world, I was dancing, I was dancing with these girl ladies from Jamaica. We were doing it. And it was amazing. It was just like we were, you know, from the same place. It was beautiful. So dance and music, the language of love. I am so incredibly grateful that I had the courage to follow my heart and not listen to my logical mind when I became a dancer at age 40. And my beloved, the only reason I tell you that is I want you to follow your dreams as well so you can truly live your passion. Bye bye beautiful Cayman Islands. You were gorgeous. You will be missed. But hello Honduras and Roatan. <laughs> I'm very excited. A beautiful island off the coast of Honduras. That's where we're heading next. And I'm going to take you guys with me. Hasta luego. See you in Honduras. Ciao. If you enjoyed our Caribbean adventure in the Cayman Islands, and I hope it inspired you to go on an adventure yourself. Message me below and let me know your dream destination, and I'll hold that vision with you. And remember, check out my brand new Patreon page. I would love to have you be part of our family. Oh, and I'm putting together a brand new coaching program starting in March. Message me or email me if you're interested in getting more details on this. It's going to be amazing, and I really hope you can join us. And most of all, my beloveds, remember, you can do this. And I'm here to support you every step of the way. Ciao.